Good evening, Cancer. Welcome to Pure Tarot. Um, I'm doing a reading for the rest of October. I'm not going to do too long of an intro. We're just going to get some cards right away. I wished uh, to start with a oracle deck called the Egyptian Gods. Curious to get a a premise, like an energy to premise or preface preface the, the reading sort of <laughs> Isis faith and wisdom that's big energy cancer um, it feels um It feels like you are um, knowing it's almost like you've hit a milestone, a personal milestone of some kind, and um, there's a particular inner knowing about what that means for you. and. Um, the reason I'm mentioning this is because it's tied into the wisdom. Uh, less to the word faith here, but a lot more to wisdom. Let's see if that comes out through the tarot. Um, four of Cups. For the cards to come out, to pop out. Um, <laughs> of course, I do pull the cards if you know. I don't want to keep you waiting too too long, but let's do this. The moon in reverse. Let me get some more. We have the star in reverse, which came out twice already um, for Aries and for another sign. We have the nine of cups and the three of swords. Okay. It's not so easy to read in the sense of um, not so pleasant. <laughs> Um, so, first off, uh, you have the moon card in reverse. The moon is your energy, right? So, and you do have the three of swords, upright, and the four of cups. So, I mentioned something about acquiring wisdom and I mentioned that you had an inner knowing about a specific milestone, personal milestone. I think this is the milestone you've hit. It unfortunately came through a difficult situation instead of being something pleasant. <laughs> um, although it's bringing you a lot of satisfaction to know this and to have, I guess, acquired whatever that piece of wisdom, uh, whatever you've unlocked. You've basically gone through hell and back. So... I say hell and back because we start with the Four of Cups and we end with the Three of Swords. So the way I'm seeing it is, <laughs> it's, 
instead of starting with the, the pain, it's like you went through X, Y, Z here, you hit the pain and then you came back and then you chose to close off and sort of what I call ignoring, um, you know, turning down or, you know, retrieving or retreating the moon here as well, right? On this end with the star, it's like pulling this way. It's a funny, it's a funny feeling. It feels like the tide. It feels like hell and back. So almost also as if you would have gone through the, let's say, let's call it the ordeal. And then also you've sort of lived it twice and <laughs> through a, a different sequence. It's funny, it's um, And what's really particular is this Nine of Cups here because it's almost like, and you're gonna find me really strange to say that, but it, the hell and back, the fact that you went through this almost like on the, on the, on the way there and then on the way back, it's almost masochistic, like you enjoyed, you enjoyed it. It's, it's how it's coming through. No matter how twisted that sounds, <laughs> it, it's what I'm seeing here. Um, and I think it's, I think for some reason it's, it's, it has to do with your, I think it has to do with how intense you love you love and want to live your emotions. It's like almost um, a need uh, for intensity, right? So almost purposefully wanting um, both the pain and the pleasure here, maybe of all of this, right? So one thing I think you've experienced is um, what we call vultures. I mean, obviously I'm drawing from the imagery here, but I'm also seeing it as you got, you were betrayed, you were, I think you were had, uh, you were the expression, um, how do you say? Yeah, you were caught in a situation where you were had. Like, um, I'm not sure how to say this in English. I'm sorry. I'm lacking the vocabulary now. <laughs> but um, yeah, someone effed you over kind of thing, right? <laughs> For lack of better words. Um, it could be in business. Um, it could be in love. It might even be family uh, related to a degree. It's going to defer for all of you, of course. Mm. I'm tempted to say it's in love, but I mostly want to say that Whoever you trusted that betrayed you, you had a lot of faith in. And it could be a family, but it could be a relation um, in relation to family. So not necessarily a family member, but maybe an extended family member or like, you know, the brother and like the in-law kind of type of relationship. But there's something where you did um, lose something somehow. Um, 
I'm also thinking that, um, you know, we do have the moon and the star right side by side in reverse. The star is faith, and you could you could stretch it to say that the moon could represent wisdom in a way, right? It's an intuitive wisdom kind of thing. But either way, they sort of resonate here. And I think obviously this is what was tested. This is what was hmm. I'm going to say it's a little bit like the principle of going to hell and back. It's, it's a double play here. It's almost like to start with, you had faith and you had wisdom, whether it's in life in general, people in general, this person, this situation, whatever, all of, all of the above, if you want, as well. But what's double-sided here is that it was also your weakness. Somehow you got effed over because either you lacked faith or you lacked wisdom in the circumstances and then you were left with less faith and less wisdom and yet the reason why all these cards are coming out and the reason why there is satisfaction in the end or or because there's a degree of satisfaction somehow you've gained in faith and you've gained in wisdom through the experience so it's like it's like it was the cause of your demise and at the same time it is what you gain out of it that's why it's a, again a double play on it's a positive and negative it's something you went through twice or something that you know i don't know some kind of back and forth here This Four of Cups is intriguing me because um, as much as I'm sensing that you're able as a Cancerian, um, which is a difficult thing for a Cancerian, but I think that you're able at this point in time to have quote-unquote, this kind of situation or whatever happened to you um, not affect you anymore. It's like you've built resistance, you've built, you know, the, the saying of it's like water on um, a duck's feathers, right? It'll s just slide and slip and just I think there's a little bit of that here. Um, usually Cancerians, uh, they hold grudges <laughs> uh, somehow um, or they have resentment or they will be, um, they, they might take a, a while to forgive. Not necessarily forgive, but they will take a, a you know, Anyways, it's not as bad as Scorpios, but <laughs> no offense to you guys, Scorpios, but just to illustrate my point here. So what's intriguing is that all of what I just said is, is pretty much straight up the typical Four of Cups meaning, right? But, I'm looking at this card differently. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I'm getting a really weird story in my mind, and I'm gonna say it, but um, it feels like um, you, Cancer, have created a situation where, <clears throat> and this is gonna sound really weird, um, like you created. Um, How can I say this? Almost like a test or a little bit like you put this situation in place. Okay. So I know it sounds crazy because obviously who would want to like hurt themselves and like, <laughs> you know, basically set themselves up for betrayal and hurt and losing, you know, resources or whatever the thing is here. Right. Yet, I'm telling you, there's something that stems from you in terms of, well, okay, you might debate that we all, like, obviously, we live the situations that we're meant to live, right? So, I mean, they're all destined for us kind of thing. So, <laughs> you can say that you create your reality, you know, all the time and that, you know, the good is the bad um, stems from you, from your choices. But... This is a little further out. This is more like saying um, you almost um, did it on purpose. Uh, it, it feels like you've attracted someone or you've attracted situations or different people uh, wanting to, to see if they would betray you. Something like that. Something like you set up. Um, and I think that's why there's a, something fun about it for you. It sounds so twisted, it's crazy, but there's something about, and I don't think it's not malicious, and not at all, I'm just sensing that somehow, maybe unconsciously or consciously with the moon, I'm telling you this, to me there's a degree of consciousness and awareness and of choice, like something that you did, you specifically did to experience this and I have no idea what your motivations would be um, maybe is to you know if there were bad people around you maybe it was one way for you to get rid of them or you know just to have to have them um, the reveal, you know, who's positive, who's less positive around me, in my surroundings, who can I trust, that kind of sort of thing. I know it's odd, but that's what's, um, that's what I'm thinking about here. Because of all this idea of taking pleasure in, in what's happening somehow. And like this Four of Cups is not fully ignoring things. It's like almost walking in to something, kind of knowing to a degree, knowing something and still doing it, you know, like almost like doing something you're not supposed to and <laughs> enjoying it because it's not supposed to be, right? Okay. <laughs> Four of Cups comes out again <laughs> with the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it could have been that you did this situation in business on purpose um, to see who was uh, to be trusted in business for yourself, right? And even maybe testing your own faith and wisdom related to that. Are you wise enough did you really sense who was good for you who was not as good for you and you set them up accordingly to prove your points or you know what i mean it's i know it's odd but it's it's what i'm thinking and it's funny because there is some form of oblivion on this four of cups right there's there's a place where you're content you're you know 
you're okay with um, not choosing, you're okay with uh, status quo, you're okay with state of things, not how they've turned out. Um, because in the end, I think that you are, you've gained something, um, maybe you've gained something in business per se, like um, maybe there's something that really turned to your advantage by doing all of this, right? No matter what it is, right? It's hard for me to be more specific because it'll be different for all of you, but maybe there was something really wise about, you know, like the choices that you've made and this experiment. I'm going to call it like that, the experiment. Um, you know, you did really want to see uh, who was going to be deceptive or not. You really wanted, with the moon in reverse, you wanted to, um, for those to be smoked out. I have to say that you um, you would have experienced loss to a degree, right? There is there is um, even if you gain in faith and wisdom and maturity and experience here with the king, as much as you are still content and um, able to kind of withdraw enough so that you know things don't affect you as much you did you did lose quite a lot um this three of swords is upright it wasn't unevent uneventful <laughs> No matter what went down, it was eventful. And as much as you were willing to roll with the punches, I think that you uh, you got a few bruises, <laughs> to say the least. Two came out. <laughs> One I really love is humility, um, which I'm going to put here by the Four of Swords, by both the Four of Swords. And wish, I'm going to put it beside the King of Pentacles. I mean, we do have the Nine of Cups here. Here, let me put it this way. <laughs> On the Humility card, it says, Flowers are unaware of each other's beauty. They bloom regardless. And isn't it quite the energy of the Four of Cups of being unaware? It's a funny feeling. Like I said, as much as I want to grant you that you were somehow unconscious about your own motivations, I still think that you brought it on yourself and that you created... You were... You played a part in it more than just, you know. <laughs> um, and maybe there was a wish. Maybe there was really something that you were aiming for in terms of, like I said, um, finding out who would betray you, who wouldn't. Um, who could you have faith in? I, I believe this wish was granted. I, I believe you have the answers you were looking for. And I believe that you will um, grow from it in the sense that something positive um, and maybe even remarkable with the King of Pentacles will come out of it.
And I really am emphasizing the word remarkable because I think there's um, I have a, a French word in my mind. Um, it's grandeur. I think you. I think in English you'd say grandeur, like something grand. Yeah, that's what I'm sensing on on this card here. I think it has to do with the. Um, it has to do with some kind of. It's linked to the faith because um, it's proportional to the, the size of your faith. And for some reason, Cancer, in this reading, I feel that you are quite the believer, right? And I don't mean that in a religious sense. I mean, I think you have an enormous capacity here with all this wish, uh, the fact that you have the King of Pentacles who's able to translate what they wish for, the fact that you have so much faith, um, you know, the, the star is here as well, even if it's in reverse. There's a lot of uh, capacity for blowing up. But I, I say that in the most positive way like like the what's grand is uh, not just something oh it's grand because it cost a lot of money or grand because there was a I don't know tons of fireworks and <laughs> you know what I mean like just um it's grand because of the, I want to say, the vision. Because it's a wish. There's something about being a visionary. There's something about being um, wise beyond your years. There's something about reaching for the stars. There's something about... Also, what I find interesting is we have... The king of earth of pentacles, so earth element, and then we have this humility card, right? And so, I don't know, it's interesting. It's like being able to not lose sight of who you are, no matter, you know, knowing that you're just a human. <laughs> And yet having um, these unbelievable visions or having vision, right? Just uh, in terms of I want to say the word dreams, but it's beyond dreams because I think with the King of Pentacles, this is a doer. This is someone who act who builds. This is someone who shapes things so we're not looking at someone who's only dreaming this this is it has something to do with and it it has something to do with going to hell and back right like almost saying you're able to navigate both you know we'll say hell and, and heaven right in the sense that you're able to navigate the extremes. It's a much more profound reading than uh, it looks at first glance.
something there's something really um there's something really big so that thing that i'm trying to pinpoint about something grand um It's really, really strange. It, it comes through as um, it comes through as this one person, you um, being just this one person and yet having such an impact. Um, which didn't necessarily come through um, initially with the storyline of what happened because what happened was I'm telling you you setting up uh, this situation where you needed to know who was on your side and who wasn't That is so strange. Anyways, I can't really explain it any better, any more or any further, right? It doesn't, um, I'm going to stop. I mean, I'm trying to see if I can say something else, but it's it's too vague because at this point I'd have to know like what each and every one of you are going through if I was to go any further. I'm not able to. <laughs> All I can tell you is that um it's much more profound than it looks like. Uh, at first glance and even for me I think this reading will uh, probably work its way through um, all evening it's one of those <laughs> uh, almost like it's not yet fully decoded or it'll just take on a different light um, you know maybe tomorrow or maybe never <laughs> who knows anyways Thank you so, so much for being here. Oh gosh, it's a long one. So on this note, thank you again and uh, see you soon. Please like, share, subscribe, the whole thing. Okay, take care.